So what what stand up were you guys watching? The ones who really loved it. <sighs> What's good YouTube? It's your boy. I'm not even gonna say nothing right now. Um uh, if you already reading the title, you already know what this is about. Um, I don't even know what to say about that damn special. To be honest with you, I wasn't feeling it. I'm pretty sure most of y'all wasn't feeling it. And if y'all was feeling it, leave a comment down below and let me know why. I am a Kevin Hart fan. Um, I do appreciate the, the content and material he does put out. But... I felt like this one was a little bit, you know, forced for the title. You know, it it's, you know, it is what it is. So if he does catch flack for it, he's going to say he didn't, you know, give a F. I think that was kind of like his little, his, his guard. You know, he put his guard up. So he's like, damn, if it does bomb or if they don't like it, well, read the title. That's my vibe, I don't care. It is what it is. If you're new to the channel and you wanna subscribe to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I would appreciate it if you drop a thumbs up, a like on this uh, this video, and uh, check out the rest of my videos. I wanna get into why this, uh, to me, I didn't feel like it hit the mark. For one, he had it in his, in his home because he, he didn't want to go outside and do it in the arenas and the stadiums like he normally does because of what's going on, which is right. But did you guys kind of get the sense or feeling that the people in the audience was like staged? Do you feel like that was people from his production team? For me, I felt like they were laughing too hard. I felt like it was forced. like. They knew his jokes already. They knew, you know, his material. They knew his jokes. It felt fake. It felt fake to me. It felt like he was trying too hard. I felt like the jokes didn't land and the people in the audience were laughing because he's Kevin Hart. I feel like the people in the audience are laughing because either they work for this man, they're just trying to be on camera or they needed to bump up the Netflix sales. They needed to bump up, you know, the publicity for the for the show. Because I watched it and I felt like all his jokes were repetitive. All his jokes were about his family, his wife, and him backpedaling on certain things too. Like he even apologized in the middle of his act. Now, if you didn't give a F, why would you backpedal in the middle of your set? Like, Kevin is very talented. And this is no hate, no nothing towards him. I respect the man's craft. But in, in saying that, I do have an opinion and I'm going to give it. It was not the best. Um, and we all are entitled to our opinions. I felt like this was a cash grab by Kevin, his team, and Netflix, unfortunately, signed the check. They took it because it was Kevin Hart, but it was mixed reviews. Now, when they say mixed reviews to me, it sound like it bombed because either you did good or you didn't do so good. There's no mix. There's no in between. Let me know what you guys felt about this this special, if you want to call it that. I don't even want to call it a special. It was just a stand up. Like Kevin Hart's a big name, so they're gonna call it a special. But the stand up was far from special. Um, I chuckled three times uh, throughout the whole set. I I didn't. I didn't even want to watch it. I didn't. But I read the comments of people like, oh my God, it was hilarious. It was hilarious. 
what 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 stand up was y'all watching? I chuckled three times, and I I love comedy, but either you guys were forcing the laughs, or you're laughing because it's Kevin Hart. Let me know what you guys what what stand up were you guys watching? The ones who really loved it, cause I, I mm, that one took a back seat. I uh, I can't believe I sat through that. And if you didn't like it, what didn't you like about it? If you did not like it, what do you think he could have done better? I know it's a lot of things he could have done better, but as far as the production aspect, I loved it. Camera angles, everything, the lighting, the set, the audio, perfect from a production aspect. Aspect, it was bomb from a production aspect. But from him personally on stage and his material, I just felt like this man. He need to go back to the drawing board. We've been in a pandemic for seven months. We've been out. We've been down for seven months and he had that much time to study some material, get his lines together, get his act together and come out and give us greatness. And that was not great. I don't know, Kevin, man. You better talk to your team, man. You. <sighs> this is I think this is what happens when you cross over. And then you let other people write your material. It didn't sound too authentic. I mean, it did sound authentic to a certain extent, but it felt rushed. You ever notice how, you know, you get something to eat and you and it's undercooked? It's because they rushed it. I felt like this was like undercooked chicken. Like it was undercooked. It was not... Mm -mm. It wasn't thorough. It wasn't planned out. It wasn't seasoned. It wasn't thought about. It wasn't done correctly. But I know he'll bounce back. He's going to get paid. I mean, he got paid for it. He signed that check. Netflix chipped him off. So he's good where he's at. But I mean, I think at this point in his success, he don't care. I mean, I, I don't know. Do you think he cares? Let me know if you think he cares about his material anymore? Do you think he cares about his fans anymore? Because the feedback is, you know, what made him a success as a comedian. You go out there and you perform and your audience feedback is what propels you to the next level. So if he's at that point where he doesn't care because he's already made his millions or, you know, he doesn't appeal to the demographic he wants cater to anymore you know that's up for debate but i just had to give my two cents and you know speak my mind on this on this stand-up because zero f's given i don't think he thought this one through but enough blabbing for me it's your boy i am shane black go ahead and drop a like comment down below subscribe if you're new i'll catch you on the next one peace